Hi, Seabrispers here, back on our Factoria++ Plus Plus video, episode 16, and you can see I'm getting more clips with this and this finished, which puts me at like a crossroads of what I should try to do at this point. There's a number of good researches. Um, this is a good one, this will be, this is solar energy, which, yeah, it's a free source of um, electric energy, it's useless at night, that's okay. Um, but yeah, you can see how useful this is. It's best when combined with accumulators, which I am going to need sulfuric acid for. And that needs sulfur. I have sulfur, though. As you can see, if I just... I think I could just go into FNEI. It all it takes is iron, sulfur, and water. And the water I can just get onto those fluid belt... Or, f like, those fluid pipes that are in the bus. And... Yeah, that would be useful, and it's a good copper drain, because right now, you can see the cut from ferret ore. Like, I have enough mi like mining drills to completely fill a yellow belt, but you can see this is like a third of full with iron, just because the copper demand is just so low. Creating a whole bunch of solar panels is copper, steel, and... I guess it's steel, maybe 5, actually isn't 5 steel, 25 iron? No, actually you can see the raw resources, except it's 5 steel. Yeah, it is 5 iron for a single steel. Okay, that isn't the best way to go then. What about batteries? This is equal. And this is iron and no copper, so that's actually not the best thing to do if I want to spend copper, unless... I know, I think there is some sort of ore sorting that gives you, like, steel and then something else. It may even be steel and plastic, and that would be extremely useful. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, there's Argentum Ferret, which is silver and iron. Silver is one of the new resources. Um, I could, like, there's a bunch of researchers here that are, like, silver processing, titan processing. I don't really need that. I don't even know what this would even do. I don't even know what this massive iron chunk and stuff is. This, I don't really need. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to research plastics. And then after that, I'm going to research carfetium processing. Because this allows me to sort um, carfetium into half plastic waste and steel trash. And you can use this in a furnace to get steel and plastic. And this will be extremely useful because with all the steel, then it'll then it'll be time to switch to solar. Because then I can actually increase my copper demand because solar takes more copper than iron. And a plastic is like the next major resource I want, like even in the vanilla game. Because... That's how I make blue science and red circuits. Actually, I first make red circuits and then blue science. And normally I need oil for this, but um, just using... Um, doing this way is just better. I will eventually use oil because there is some things that can only be made with oil here. But that means it may be time to try to find a Carfetium ore vein. And here's one right over here. So that, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, unless there's a Carfetium that is kind of farther south, there is one all the way out west here. There's a lot of trees, so I don't think that biters would be that much of an issue. I mean, there will be this base. Um, I mean, it could block, block my bus, so I probably want to do that one instead of... I mean, this is only 152k, while this is 2.7 million. And 2.7 million of this... Is something like I don't know six or seven million iron or copper because normally there's just more steps involved with making plastic and um, steel however in the short term it just may be easier to do this because like it's just so close and I mean it'll be a little bit of a struggle bringing plastic all the way down but I'll probably manage. There's also actually an ore vein right here that's even smaller. So I actually want to do it there. So 
so I'm not exactly sure how much of this I'm, I probably don't need it to be high density at all I can probably just get away with making it as low of a density as you possibly can because I really don't think I'm gonna be using a lot of of this ore. I do have to do it like this just because I, I, I want I I'm kind of a OCD and I want to grab every last piece of ore. This bothers me. Like I don't like when I have to do this. This means I have to um there's like I really don't need this to be high density at all. Like that's the thing. I I don't want to waste electricity with this. I guess I wouldn't waste that much electricity. But here's a spot landfill would be extremely useful. Boom, landfill. That's why, yeah, landfill is extremely useful <laughs> at certain times. And then I can just do this and and then just I, this will definitely just fit on a single belt of carfactium. Like I don't, I don't even care about like trying to like balance it because like link link <clears throat> because I'm just gonna be using so little of this that a single yellow belt will do just fine so we're gonna just merge it and this will be the belt and now I'm gonna need some sorting machines to sort this into um, plastic trash and steel trash. So while I'm just grabbing the materials I need for everything, I can actually explode all those cliffs that are in the way. So uh, yeah, that, that's pretty exciting. I can, I can explode even more of the stupid cliffs and possibly... I'm, is this gonna go through? Yes, this will go through the entire bus, which means I can finally expand my bus. Which is something I've been hoping, or which I'm, I've been trying to do for a long time. Because you can see just how cramped that military science build. I will update it eventually, but I kind of want to get this going first. Or at least get a setup to the point where I, well, once, once I have the research for it, it'll be easy to do. And also, I've recently searched a uh, research to the stronger explosives too, which means. I can explode trees in just one grenade, which is so useful. Like, seriously, that is extremely... Yeah, you, you don't know how useful this is. So I'm just gonna get the sorting machines down. I don't really think I'm gonna need that many of them. I really think that this amount, just like eight, will... I, I don't even think I need eight. I could probably just get away with like four. I could probably just do this, actually, and only use a single belt, and then I do this, put the inserters down, put these inserters down, and then do a little trick, because this will place on the outside of the belt, and doing this will put them in the inside, which just increases the capacity, and then I can sort by whatever it is, so I don't even, I don't even think plastic waste and plastic trash. I, I don't even know if I've unlocked that quite yet, so that will be... I think I'm not, yeah, I, don't, I don't think I can filter. I, wait, I, I can't... F no, that's carpet team ore. It's not... It's just the raw ore. The good thing is that at least... Actually, I can't even do that. I mean, I, I guess I can just... If I really, really wanted, I could just do this. Um, like, put a chest here. Put... Um, an inserter here, power up the inserter, and then put all of my carfetium ore in, and that at least saves some inventory space. Another preparation I can do is like, because I know this is going to be, there'll be two belts here. One will be for um, steel trash, and the other will be for plastic trash, and I can kind of separate it into two separate um, It'll be kind of weird, but I can make it work. Like, I can use a splitter. I can use the traditional um, splitters like this to make... Um, I can, I'm not even sure where I want this to be, 
because I will just be using regular stone furnaces. I'm not going to have any of them. Again, I probably, I'm only going to use like four of them. I mean, at this point, if it's only four, I don't even need to do it that way because I don't need it to be some super high tech or, or just, I mean, even though there's, there's a thing called high, high tech stuff in high tech, you know, what I, what I mean is I don't, I don't need a crazy build because it's only going to be processing a little bit of these. And this does mean, yes, I do need to filter out some um, coal here and just, I can use F and, and do this and I think this, this works or I can just do this and oh, nope there's one stone left in there and then I can just do the build which is probably like, it's yeah it's, it's not gonna be a hard build at all to make like I, I can just do this and this will get the job done for sure and then it'll be it'll be essentially the same thing the same thing with the other other war. So this is gonna look weird, but it it's gonna work. This is a is another spaghetti build. I know I I know you guys love spaghetti, so that's, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I think ever every, every Factorio player loves seeing spaghetti like this, especially when it actually works. But I, I'm just, I guess I'm just using the space the most efficiently as I can. That's really what I'm doing. Just, I'm just being efficient with my space. And then I know one of these is gonna have to merge with the steel. Like, can I use a red underground belt to, um, to go under here? If I can't, I'll probably get. I'll probably just use landfill, which, yeah, landfill is actually, um, yeah, landfill is really good. Um, let's see, uh, not quite. See, this is why I'm going to use landfill. I'm not even sure if that's enough. No, it's not. Okay. Then just use one landfill. I can actually just do this and, um, go here. I should just do it like this and this will actually be more efficient. And then I can merge this with the steel by doing this and boom so it's, it's fully set up plastics gonna be a whole new line on the on the bus it may even be two lines because plastic is used a lot I think I can get away with one line because it's relatively easily outsourced to something else using oil because all it needs is oil and coal or the carpetium but that also produces a side product of steel, and that would kind of be... I'm not sure how much that works. Ooh, it doesn't look like my coal's doing all that well. Oh, it's because my coal... I think the sulfur is now completely backed up. I'm going to want to actually make an automated build for... Um, for cliff explosives, rather than doing what I did there. So another, another little thing I want to do is... I want to... Um, put water on the bus because this I think this can make sulfur automatically and that is extremely useful so this means I will yes I will put more of this here and I can just do this and boom. now one of these pipes is filled with water actually I, I, no that one's okay I don't. I think I was planning to put it on this one, but I think this pipe worked out that this one would would be the maximum distance. So it, yeah, main fluid throughput is a problem. It's extremely annoying problem. That's why I'm not. I don't really use fluids all that much. I try to avoid them. Okay, so the, the last thing I want to do here, I actually do want to get rid of this. It's kind of pointless to do this at this point. I, I don't think there's any. Um, more like if you, if you go on the map I don't think there's any there's, there's no uh, what is it cover fair or remaining so I don't need that I can I'll get rid of just all of this until here and I have 
you can see there's not that many pure iron producers here. So that's what I'm going to build. I'm just going to build a few more of these and then and then just like try to merge them as well. Um, this pole is badly placed. And yeah, I'll, I'll merge the belts and this will hopefully give me a greater iron supply. So instead of doing this, which is stupid, I can do this and this like actually merges the belts instead of just like put it, putting it on one side. And I guess, yeah, I need this as well. And that should hopefully increase my iron production because science is just so slow because of the iron problem. And let's see what my power is doing. My power is doing fine. I can even probably get rid of a few of these copper mines. Like, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm going to completely get rid of them at this point. Because I do not need them. At all. Because the cut run ferret is providing my copper. It's just a better idea to, to put these with the iron. Like this. So what I'm actually doing here is, I've been crafting, a, I grabbed a huge amount of materials, so I could all put it, it in this chest. Yes, that's what I'm doing. So I can I craft some more cliff explosives because I really need more cliff explosives. Because I want to I want to get rid of all of these cliffs because they're all blocking the bus. I also, I also got a whole a bunch of um, landfill. I do want to eventually get rid of this lake because it's right in the way of my bus. I could also try to start taking from this iron vein because it's also in the way of my bus. Yeah, there's just a lot of things in the way of my bus. This is still 1.5 million somehow. So I'm just going to get rid of these cliffs and then I'll end the episode because I think I think the redoing of the military science bill, that deserves its own episode because that's because military science is quite complicated and I want an actually efficient build for, for this. So that's what I'll be doing. You can just see there are far less cliffs I have to deal with. I mean, it's not devoid of cliffs yet, but it's just so much better. And I can get, get rid of these trees that are in my way so much quicker because it's only one grenade needed per um, to kill all the trees. So yeah, that's what I'll what I'll do. It's I mean, this is the primary way I get rid of trees until the late game where you have a bunch of you have a bunch of other stuff that is even better so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out mm -hmm.